Good afternoon, this is Tina. How are you doing? We are gonna continue on our uh, second video on how to using the modules, okay? So let's go back to our uh, video studio. And now let me create a new file called pattern2. Okay, the second way to use a module, which is like this, module.exports exports dot let's using some uh, good name okay equals a function and here we were using console dot log josh uh, <laughs> miss x i n g okay that's all so this is second way compared our the first one the first one is like this sorry the first one is like this, like this, module.export, directly use return a function. But now what we do is uh, we're using module.export to get a name equals a function. So what, uh, what happened after we do like that? Let me draw you a picture, okay. Okay, like this. So previously our module our module dot exports this is gonna be returned by each module right previous it will point to like an empty object and uh, what does this step doing what are this step what what did what we did inside here what do we did this one is uh, if you understand the, the uh, JavaScript object where you probably already know. This one doing is I just here uh, insert a key value pair, which what is the key? Get name in the empty object. What's the value? This function. That's what I do. So after that, what's gonna be returned? What's gonna be returned? Your uh, module that export is gonna return not an empty object anymore. It's gonna return an object which has a key is a get a name. The value is this function which is defined by you are doing here. So now, uh, let me show you. Uh, I'm gonna go and create a new app.js, right? Yes. So now, when we const um, Pattern two require and using pattern two. Okay, what is this pattern two represent? If we console the logger now, the pattern two gonna represent the object, which is the object here. Represent this object. So let me show you. Uh, console dot log pattern two. Okay, and now we can go and run. How to run? Let me go back cd pattern 2 okay and then now i will go to node app.js you will see this is an object okay which is this object which is uh, the object here right which is this object right so then if we want to call this function we have to call like this pattern to dot get a name and get a name is the key get a name is a key and it's actually a function so we can add a parenthesis to actually execute the function so after we do now when we run you will see this one is printed out by this console log and this miss xing is returned by this one because it's a function. This is one way you can do to use this pattern too, okay? This is one way. The other way to using this pattern too is like this. Equals require pattern two, pattern two dot get name, okay? And now this get name is gonna, uh, when we require this part, this part equals to this object, right? When we call get name, which is a key, then it, the entire thing gonna return a function. So then you can call like this one. Because now it's a function, we can directly call it. 
So you are saying Miss X I N G. This is the two ways to require. And let's go back to the pattern two. Pattern two here. Do you remember uh, the shorthand exports? The exports. Uh, at the beginning, we also have a shorthand called exports, right? At the beginning, this module.exports and exports will all always point to this empty object, right? And uh, uh, the difference is this is going to be returned, not this one. In this case, because we are using this syntax, what you can do like this way, or you can use in the shorthand, which is like this one, exports dot get a name equals, then you can give the exactly the same function. Okay, because this one exports data get a name also do the same thing, which is uh, uh, extend the empty object to have a key value pair. And now if we run again, it, it won't have any problem. You are say mix X and G. Okay. So if you if you uh, like a module always uh, doing something like this, you can use in the shorthand. Okay. So now uh, that's it for this uh, pattern two. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.